Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, they have what's known as the unlawful conspiracy. Yeah. A criminal offense in which two or more people get together and plan an illegal act. See, conspiracy. Yeah. Now, um, you know, yesterday I was talking about that private transaction. Yes. Mm -hmm. And just looking at these forgeries, right, um, this one or this one or maybe both of them, poop. This is one person, and this is a second person. Yeah. And since that is not uh, this person, mm -hmm. that would be one, two. Oh, <laughs> two or more persons. Poop. Now, hello. <laughs> this unlawful conspiracy? Yes. Mm -hmm. See, you have um, what is known as... Um, Two or more persons, right? Mm -hmm. And um, when you consider this, uh -huh, coercion and extortion, yes. Uh, this person, yes, under coercion, agreed that this person wanted her to sign this because of the coercive statements that I had some sort of weapon. Poop. But uh, we quite possibly, when you consider two or more, yeah, have a numerous unlawful conspiracies. Yes. Now, let's say that my sister was upset at me because I said that she could go to prison with my mother, my aunt, and my uncle. <laughs> and two or more persons, being Susan Bowers and Mike Van Proyen, decided to have an unlawful conspiracy poop, where they decided to use a Rotarian newsletter uh -huh, to fabricate the fraud of Susan Bowers being the mother of Legina. Yes. Now, these two or more persons, known as Susan Bowers yes. and Mike Van Proyen, together did an unlawful conspiracy yes. when they committed the fraud right now. Now, Rotary's getting sued for the unlawful conspiracy. <laughs> A criminal offense uh, in which Susan Bowers and Mike Van Proyen get together and they plan the illegal act of the maternity fraud. <laughs> With the intent, yes, of upsetting me. <laughs> and Mike probably thought to upset Marilyn. <laughs> now, when you use a Rotarian newsletter, yes, to uh, do this type of illegal act, yes, known as maternity fraud, so that you can have an unlawful conspiracy, <laughs> there's a considerable amount of damages to Rotary International. <laughs> now, I'm going to have to tell every member... Oh, and all of those that you send newsletters to, yes, for the last 30 years that you as an organization decided to allow your member, yes, to participate in the unlawful conspiracy, yes, of maternity fraud. <laughs> now, I'm going to want to sue you today. Mm -hmm. I'm going to want to use those courts, okay? <laughs> because I think, yes, that is one unlawful conspiracy, yes. Now, let's say this individual, yes, is not that individual. Yes. And this individual, uh-huh, misled, coerced this individual into being involved in an unlawful conspiracy. <laughs> well, you as a county right now are really getting screwed over. <laughs> See, this is a triple damages day. You might have uh, you might have seen some of those videos. Yes, yes. Every once in a while we have a triple damages day and these triple damages, oh, same as treble damages, boop, 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 is an award damages according to an existing statute consisting of the actual damages tripled. <laughs> a jury usually awards merely the actual damages, mm -hmm. and the judge triples them. Mm -hmm. This large award sometimes given as a punishment to Rotary International. Yes, Clallam County, yes it is. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but in other cases, it works solely because the law in the matter calls for treble damages. <laughs> now, this treble damages of the unlawful conspiracy of Susan Bowers and Mike Van Proyen, <laughs> you said you would not let me speak to Mike. <laughs>